Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing more Thief the Dark Project. Oh, oh Jesus, that's, that is steep. Uh, so in the end of the previous video, I was able to successfully get the Earth Talisman out of the Mage Towers. And now I'm exploring an abandoned underground city in search of the water talisman. Which, uh, something I didn't even realize until I was taking a peek at the uh, Thief series wiki, was that the Mage Towers is another of the levels added in as part of the gold edition of the game. Which, I probably should have been able to guess considering that it was an extreme how can the keepers oh. keep this place a secret jesus christ garrett you scared the shit out of me um but yeah so uh, i probably should have guessed that it was a thief gold level I hear barracks, I think. I should have been able to guess that it was a thief gold level considering just how ri ridiculously long it was. So I, I'm pretty sure I hear barracks down there. What do we got going on here? Uh, some sort of a bridge or something. And that does not look like the kind of... Um, oh, that's just smoke. I thought it was one of those fire ghosts. That does not look like the kind of ceiling I can put a rope arrow into. down there that was casting a light. Uh, I'm going to save it here. Oh. Oh, that's somewhat unpleasant. Alright, so my first bit of money of the level. don't think I can blackjack a barrack. But if it comes down to it, I may have to try. Then again, I do have a uh, sneaky sword here. What is that? All right, there's a burk up there. So I was able to successfully backstab him, I believe. <clears throat> Alright, I think that one's downstairs. 
Am I even on the map yet? Okay, I'm in... Whatever the hell room. I don't know what that means, but some sort of a scroll? Hmm. Some sort of a fireplace. Stairway. Oh, and now I'm back here. It's one of the good and bad things about this game is that it does not... Well, that's a sn sneaky shadow area if I need it. Um, is it does not have a like auto map I'm going to drop another save here So here's where that thing over there is. Alright, that's just a torch. Tell you, I am not used to that. I am used to Burrix being very difficult to actually kill. Yeah, but now I can go see. There we go. Despite hardships, I have welcomed this opportunity to study the city of the Precursors. Their society was remarkable, stratified like the bedrock, and seemingly as stable. Above all was the Emperor, a divine figure, answerable to none but their gods. Emperors were seldom seen by the common people, and this distance gave rise to a powerful and politically charged bureaucracy. The last emperor, emperor but one, Vatarak, seems to have been different, an unprecedented man of the people. I was not expecting there to be a second page when I clicked. Alright, so... Okay, so here... What's that? What was... Ooh. Nice. What... What the fuck is that sound? <sighs> like a bat or something? Alright, I... I feel like there's a few small... Oh, there's down there. There's the Burrick I just killed. Um... The floor is a little weird down there. I have a feeling it might be a trap. Or maybe not. Hmm. 
That's not considered a hiding spot either. That's a lot of burks. <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, right. Now I remember where that goes. Uh, what do I have for arrows again? Rope. I've got gas. I have a feeling gas arrows do not affect barracks. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm going to come back to that. Maybe. For now, though, I'm going to... Whoa, watch out for the uh, thing there. That's not a thing I can actually read, sadly. Am I still? All right, now I'm heading off to whatever this building is. Oh, okay. So that symbol is on that little pedestal there. Anybody home? I don't think Burks can come through those doors, which is good. All right, I don't know. A weird piece of texture and a ceiling thing like that. Uh, it does not look like there's anything in either of these houses. I'm gonna wait for that Burke to go by again and then I'm gonna run up the street. I'd like to see what else is in there, but... Uh, that's a whole lot of Burks. Wait. I have mines. I did not need to crouch there. Uh, but yeah, so I have mines. Is it this way? I think it might have been this way. Oh no, this is... Oh. Never mind that. This is not there. Oh, it was right over here. So there's the one dead brick. Can he even come down this hallway? It 
doesn't sound like it. I'm going to test this hypothesis. They can go that far. Um, okay, that's that way. I do want to see what in the hell is behind those barracks. Why haven't they gone back to their patrol yet? Or, yeah. sounds in my footsteps will piss them off? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I don't see anything down there as being uh, worth jumping into that lava for. <clears throat> kind of interesting, the uh, ceiling lights, but also kind of stinks because when those lights turn on, I mean, obviously, there's nowhere for me to hide. Alright, I don't hear any Burrick breathing. I may have done a bad thing. Well, I killed one of them. <clears throat> Benir has been informed that you ordered the sacrosanct parchments moved to the archives beneath the great temple palace, lest they be destroyed by the angry and fiery breath of the earth. On the morrow's eve, we shall more, we shall move ourselves there as well. Do not tarry. Wait, where did that say? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, beneath the great temple palace. Uh, which I can only guess would either be down here or. Maybe over here? I mean, there's water over here. Alright, I still hear breathing, so there's at least one of them is still alive. Okay. 
So, two mines later, and I was able to do enough damage to the other barracks that, uh, now they're dead. What the? I hope I didn't just do that for nothing. Well, down here was that note. I'm going to save. <sighs> that kills you real fast. Um. Damn it. There is nothing over there, so... Uh, Alright, uh, at least I have that note. And now I know for a fact, well... This, I don't think there's anything I can really do over here. Um, I've got 30 water arrows. I'm gonna test that later. Um, in a lot of different games, if you somehow pour water over lava, it will make like a hard spot. Nope. Does absolutely nothing. Okay. However, I see something way up there. I think that's a fire arrow, but I'm not sure. Nice. As somebody who has had lots of trouble with uh, bricks in the past. Why is not. Why are you not grabbing on like that? Well, I got the fire arrow anyway. Weird. Okay, now I'm up here. So there doesn't... There doesn't seem to be any real huge reason to go up here. Other than that one fire arrow. Where am I now? Alright, I'm in... Wherever the hell this is. Alright, that was down there. So now back down to street level. That looks like a non-treasure cup. I'm up to 395. Not a place I can hide. Ah, uh, I can cl climb my way up here. And then up here. Ooh, that was close. So there's nothing down there, but... Hmm, 
more fire arrows down this way. What the hell exactly happened here? Where, like, the first floor of that guy's house is now just lava. You know, game, it'd be nice if the slope jumping physics didn't lead to my death. Like, I have no problem with deaths that are my own fault, but when it gets to that point, it gets a little annoying. see anything in here. Just another Burrick on patrol. So for whatever reason, it sounds like when a Burrick dies... Oh shit. When a Burrick dies... What is going on? That sounds really close. So, uh, I know that Burricks and zombies and such will fight. The best I can think of is maybe uh yeah, that's a dead burrick. And I just saw that's two dead burricks. Coming back. All right. Oh, shit. All right. I'm going to go hide up on this rooftop <clears throat> because my water arrows seem to potentially have no effect on those fireball things. Uh, I think I'm going to give it one more shot later maybe it might be possible to I don't know surprise one of them because I don't really know if there's a front or a back to those enemies but anyway so it looks like I'm out of time for this video so as always thank you for watching and I will see you next time